Hi, this is Introduction to Proteinization Techniques, Part 2, part of the Computational Chemistry course at the Department of Chemistry, Copenhagen University. Potential energy surfaces have, can have many features. Among them, there can be minima, maxima, saddle points, and asymptotes. All these four features share a common characteristic. In fact, all of them are characterized by having the first derivative equal to zero. The first de derivative of the energy with respect to the nuclear coordinates is called the gradient and is usually indicated as G. Structures with zero gradients are called stationary points or equilibrium structures. Of all of them, maxima has no real interest to the chemist. Asymptotes represent a dissociation event, for example, a bond breaking. On the other hand, minima, the potential energy surface, are very important because they represent chemical species with a measurable lifetime. For example, reactant, intermediate and product of a reaction. Saddle points, also called transition states, are connecting the different minima. Transition states have an infinitesimally small lifetime, so they are, cannot be uh, experimentally measured. All the equilibrium structures can be approximated, at least locally, as quadratic. But how can we distinguish the, different, the four different structures that we have seen before? They can be distinguished mathematically by their curvature, which is given by the second derivative. The second derivative of the energy with respect to the nuclear coordinates is a matrix called Eschen with dimension 3n by 3n, where n is the number of atoms of your molecule. The sign of the eigenvalues of the Eschen matrix define the nature of the equilibrium structures. For example, in maxima, one has, has all negative eigenvalues, in min for minima, one has all positive eigenvalues. Transition states, there are all positive eigenvalues but one. And for this, is called usually more precisely called first order transition state. Where in, where in asymptotes, one has at least seven eigenvalues equal to zero. Why seven it will be clear in the next part of these uh, presentations. Other features of the potential energy surface are seen when, for example, different electronic states meet. If the two states share the same spin multiplicity, one can have a conical intersection. Otherwise, if they have different spin multiplicity, one can have an intersystem crossing. Another strange, or rather strange, theoretical feature is called the monkey saddle. This is in principle capable of uh, connecting three different minima, but is nevertheless quite if rare, if not nearly impossible to find.